Welcome to the connection between bad trans fats and belly fat. What you eat is growing your gut. If you are a person who hasn't worked out in years and has the belly fat to prove it, you may not know how important it is to distinguish between the good and bad trans fats in your diet. Eating a balanced diet means consuming those good trans fats which will not only help you in battling belly fat but in building muscle, preventing cancer, and overall fat loss. The bad trans fats that you want to get rid of will help you stay away from things like diabetes, heart disease, and an overall blubbery appearance. You may have heard of all the stories put out regarding the harmful effects of those unhealthy man-made trans fats. It's my view that those bad trans fats are just as damaging to the health as smoking. Because there's been so much talk about trans fat in the news, I felt it was important to make a distinction between those good fats, trans fats versus the bad trans fats. I want you to be informed not only of the exercises they do in order to get rid of the spare tire style belly fat, but also what you can do nutritionally to improve your health. The bad trans fats. Bad trans fats are the man-made variety. These bad fats include things like shortening, margarine, and partially hydrogenated oils. You'll find these types of oils are all in processed and deep fried foods that only add to your belly fat instead of taking away. These oils go through a, a, a lot of processing which uses harsh chemical solvents, extreme heat and pressure, the addition of metal catalysts, and are finally bleached and deodorized. Unfortunately, the FDA still permits oil that seems like it should be used for more industrial purposes rather than putting in foods that we eat. Consuming this type of oil on a long-term basis will leave you with more worries than just belly fat. Again, for the best shot at keeping belly fat at bay and maintaining overall health, you should stay away from all hydrogenated oils. The good trans fats. Now that I've told you all the bad about those bad trans fats, I should point out where to find some good trans fats. The fat and milk of animals like sheep, goat, and cattle have those natural trans fats that can be good to consume. There have been studies which report that having these good trans fats can help with building muscle and reducing fat in the body. This is the help with the belly fat you've been looking for. Grass-fed, free-range animals are shown to have more of these good fats in their bodies. At the end of the day, if you want to get those abs of steel and melt away that unsightly belly fat, you need to get your fat from the most natural sources possible.